here's the truth guys the truth about my first trimester look at all of these pimples that have been like showing up on my face i've been breaking out so bad guys i haven't had breakouts like this for at least like four or five years i did have acne problems in the past which i did cure and maybe i should make a video about that for those that aren't pregnant and having acne problems but i have not been breaking out like this in a long time and it's bringing back all my insecurities it's real look at this guys and then it's just leaving marks so yeah this is real this is reality <laughs> So my skin is also super dry. It is so bad. Um, it's like I can't even put makeup on normally without it looking cakey or flaky. And it's just, oh my goodness, I'm having so much trouble with my skin. It's just difficult, but it's okay. It's still a blessing and it's okay. I don't mind. I'm flaunting this. I'm flaunting this. There's nothing wrong with it. You know, it's just something that I'm going through. So it's okay i'm still going around barefaced and beautiful <laughs> it's about to go down about to get my first trimester screening i think we're gonna be booming baby up here <coughs> this is exciting i'm always so excited to come and see the updates and how much the baby has grown <laughs> Side there, kiddo. Oh, that's funny. Is that the back? <laughs> yeah, your little one's like, I, you don't need that picture, do you? She's like, I don't have a makeup on. <laughs> right, like, that's not my good side. I'm gonna go this way. <laughs> Getting that ultrasound. She's like a little boxer. I'm gonna be just like her dad. This is hilarious. She would not move her hands from her face, <laughs> just holding them like block pose. I'm gonna beat you up. <laughs> So I just got back from my first trimester screening and I kind of got some bad news. It's not life-threatening, but it's definitely a little worrisome. So I'm not in the best of mood about it. But basically there's a couple issues going on inside of me. <laughs> they did a pretty thorough ultrasound and it was actually the first time I did one over the belly. So and I had a full bladder, so I really had to pee. But okay, so what's wrong with me is my placenta is covering up the canal and pathway through which I would deliver a baby. And therefore, if the placenta doesn't move, I'm not gonna be able to deliver my baby naturally. And I'm pretty upset about that because I really don't wanna do a C-section. The doctor did say that there is a possibility that it could still move and they're gonna check it when I come back again at 20 weeks and just throughout. <laughs> so hopefully by the time it's time to push, I'm able to, I really wanted to give a vaginal birth. A C-section is really not what I wanted, so <laughs> it's really kind of upsetting to me and I hope it doesn't come to that. And also on top of that, I have a, a blood clot in the placenta there um, in the same area that's covering up the passageway, the canal for the baby to come out. So I could have some bleeding. And then on top of that, I also have some pretty big fibroids, which I have struggled with throughout my whole life. But there's a couple pretty big ones and they haven't caused me any pain yet, but they potentially could. They don't cause any harm to the baby, the doctor said, but they could cause me um, quite a bit of pain throughout the pregnancy if possibly they might, I don't know. It's just, I don't know, it's just kind of shocking to me and slightly overwhelming. Oh, and on top of that, I can't have sex until the placenta moves, the doctor said. So that's the bad news for Spencer and me, of course. <laughs> so I can't have any sex. <laughs> So mommy and daddy will not be getting it on until the placenta moves, which is another really, really bad thing. Um, but you know, it is what it is. I wanna make sure I have a healthy pregnancy and do what I can to make sure the baby's healthy and safe and developing in the proper way. So obviously I'm gonna take all the precautions that I can. It's just, I was not expecting to get these horrible news today, but it's not life-threatening. The baby is, well, <laughs> the 
baby's active and she kept holding up her the arms like a little boxer just kept covering and she kept turning away from the camera like they didn't want to get their picture taken so <laughs> it was really cute so the baby's really active has a healthy heartbeat so everything is looking good with the baby the problems are all with me <laughs> so hopefully they don't cause me any pain or more uh, damage throughout this pregnancy so yeah that's my update guys on top of that i also managed to get a few things because i'm crazy so of course i'm crazy and i did a little baby clothes haul um when i was at target i had got some stuff and i stopped by ross to look for something because i had some time to kill and i got some really cute stuff there too and i didn't even think about going to uh, Ross or anything for baby clothes, but they actually have really cute things and they're all super cheap. So it's awesome So I'm gonna show you what I got <laughs> It's my first little baby clothes haul. Let's start with the Target buys This is the shirt I got that says Daddy's little star and this one's obviously big, but I wanted something for daddy specifically. So I got this little tee and then I got this onesie, which is one of my favorites. Little newborn onesie. And then I got this onesie set. This one says hugs, this one says beautiful, and the other one's great. I just really like these black and white type of colors. I'm not gonna be dressing my girl in all pink, although I did get some pink stuff. You know, I'm not trying to raise a girly girl here because I'm not a girly girl, but you know, it's all just so cute. So you gotta get a little bit of pink. This is, I got this little pajama sleeper. Comes with a little hat and little shoes. So it's like a little nightgown and it's super cute. Just the cutest little thing. Then this one. And this is so cute. It comes with a little headband and little ruffles on the back for the booty. So she can be twerking, 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 twerking her booty. <laughs> More like probably just pooping in her pants and the, not twerking. <laughs> and then this is one of my favorites, this little fox onesie with the zipper. And it came as a set with a gray one and this white speckled one, but the fox. I got it simply for the foxes because the foxes are freaking adorable. I would wear this. You guys think it can fit? So that's what I got at Target. And then at Ross today, oh my gosh, I got some really cute stuff. Look at this little set, guys. It comes with little shorts. I think this is on backwards, yeah. It comes with little shorts and then this shirt. How did they do this? Why did they do this with this little shirt? Oh my gosh, it's a total outfit. And I love that it's black and white, my favorite combo. And then I got this little tomboyish set, which you might have to grow into. It comes with a hat, a shirt that has cool stripes and little leggings. And then I love this. I love this. Look at this cute little elephant onesie. And then again, black and white. And it says let's hang on the other side. And then it comes with little elephant joggers. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. This is adorable. And again, I would totally rock that if I was a baby. And then the last thing I got in pink <laughs> is this little romper. And I just thought it was super cute. And I love how it unbuttons here on the bottom for easy access. So this was my last buy from Ross. Yeah, so that's my first little baby clothing haul. I'm obviously going insane, but what, mo what mom wouldn't? Nine months is a long time to wait and you have a lot of shopping inspiration to go through. So <laughs> I guess I started pretty early, but I was excited. Can you blame me? But that's it guys thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to subscribe so you guys don't miss any more videos Give this video a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments below if anybody has had this 
placenta issue because I'm really worried and I'm looking for some hope. So if anyone has any advice or insight or has gone through the same thing, I'd love to know. Please let me know. But anyways, I'll see you guys next time with another baby update. Thank you.